Hello there boys and girls and welcome back to episode number 4 of my Road to Dragon Tears series on the Trailblazer League. So just in case you missed the last one, we first slithered over to Cave Horrors in search of a black mask and luckily managed to snag it on only 14kc. I then managed to achieve over 4000 league points on the account which allowed me to select our next relic and you guys already know I had to go for that treasure seeker for all of the clue content. And then finally, I grabbed myself level 73 slayer and thanks to our skill in prodigy relic boosting us up 12 levels that now means I can start slaying abyssal demons and hunting for our whip which was our original goal for the early game. So with all that said, let's see how long it takes me to grab that whip. It's only for the attacker roll, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll send some. We'll send some. Yeah, let me let me see how long it takes first. I mean, I'm probably not going to be able to kill that many per trip. Actually, I mean, there's the first KC. No, 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 no way! No way! No way! What? No. Way. It's literally the first KC. Oh my god. <laughs> no. The stream has been live for three minutes. Oh my god. What? What the hell? I'll show you. Where's the Slayer gem? Uh, but, 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 where is it? Log. Uh, Abyssal Demons 1. I got it on 1 KC. That's nutty. So, yeah, literally got myself the whip on the very first Abyssal Demon kill. And even though the drop rate of the whip is halved due to the passive of the tier 3 relic, it is still insanely lucky. And as I said before, that is now my early game Trailblazer goal completed already. And so next up on the list, and you guys might be able to guess what I'm about to say based on the area that I'm in, I reckon it's about time that I caught myself a fight or so, which will be best in slot for quite a while and should net me a pretty tasty amount of league points. I'm gonna, buy, I'm gonna buy the wrong torso. Like, hey, boys, you wanna go back to BA? All right, get rewards. <laughs> or is it? So, buy the penance pen torso. Party. That's the one. Okay. Buy. There we go. <laughs> I had to be so careful they didn't buy that. Oh, it was 100 points. I thought it was only 50. Oh my god, that took way longer than I ever thought it would. Coming up on around 5 hours total with some of the boys on stream, so I just wanted to give a quick big thanks to Max, Lemlo, Mandeep and Oblex for grinding through the pain alongside me. So with the fighter torso now acquired, I think I might start taking advantage of our treasure seeker relic a little more and see if I can snag the very first clue unique of the series. So we do currently have ourselves 22 hard clue scroll boxes saved up from Slayer, so I am hoping to be able to complete at least a couple of them. And as the Treasure Seeker Relic lowers the amount of steps on each tier of Clue to the minimum, this means we'll only have to complete 4 steps for a casket. Okay, so not off to the best of starts. The first one is inside of the Fremnic area, so that will be a drop clue. Okay, so we managed to get the first step of this one, but the next one is in Keldegrim, so we're 0 for 2 so far. <laughs> oh man, so we're not really having the best luck so far. Literally 5 in a row there having to be dropped on the first step. But we can do the first step of this one, so there is a little bit of hope. Okay, so this is currently a new record. This will be the third step of a clue. And DKS. I don't think we can do that off the top of my head. Yep, unfortunately, another Fremnig one. What's, what's with all these Fremnig ones? I've literally had to drop about five or six so far due to uh, not having the Fremnig region. Okay, so I literally just realized this, but the best way to do this would be to actually juggle four clues at the same time until they all have steps which I can currently do for a guaranteed chance of a casket, just like what Settle did when he solved the medium clue inside of Mauritania. And I guess it was pretty good that I realized this now, and only two of the hard clues that we've had so far have actually gone past the first step, so it's not like we wasted too many. Okay, so I actually managed to get quite lucky with some of the first steps and there should be the first hard casket of the series and honestly i can't wait i want to crack this thing open right now what the hell kind of hard clue is that man literally two slots for a hard clue that looks like quite a scam that's a double room plate body roll and a double purple sweets roll and i suppose that does actually count as a unique apparently because it is a uh, shared clue unique and i believe if i do eat one of these purple sweets as well that will be three tasks in one there so i guess all in all not really the worst hard clue reward to be honest but I think what I'm going to do in terms of solving hard clues, uh, at least for now, is wait until I've got my third region unlocked, as so many were dropped on the first step due to being in either Fremnik or Asgarnia. And as I said in the first episode, I believe, I am planning on taking one of those regions when I do get myself enough tasks completed. And so yeah, with three extra regions unlocked instead of two, it will significantly increase the chance of me solving as many hard clues as possible. So I think every time I do pick myself up a hard clue scroll box, I am going to save it in the bank for now and then crack it open when I do get my next region. But with that said, after completing that hard clue, I'm kind of getting a pretty big craving to solve some more clues now. 
So I think what I'm going to do is actually save myself up maybe 10 or 20 beginner caskets and see if I can take off our first beginner clue unique. So I'm going to start off by whacking some barbarians, which does look a little weird I guess, but they do drop both beginner and easy clue scrolls. And also I do believe they are the best source of an amulet mole for me right now, as I don't think I have any shops unlocked that uh, can sell one to me, as I do want to make myself a strength amulet. So I can get myself a 1kc whip from an abbey demon no problem, but it takes me nearly 300 barbarians to get an amulet mold. But I guess on the positive side, I did get 14 beginner and 11 easy scroll boxes at the same time, and this should be, when I enchant it as well, a strength amulet finally acquired on the account for another 50 points as well. So from those 14 beginner scroll boxes, I did manage to complete 10 of the caskets, so let's see if we can get our first unique and straight away a rune scimitar ornament kit. I mean, now that we got the whip, probably not going to see uh, any use for that, but I guess it is a nice little bit of bank value, and uh, as I say, it is a unique ticked off. Next up, nothing there. Wizard hat, I don't think I've actually got one of those yet, so I will take that. Steel full helm. Yeah, stuff of it. I mean, beginner clues, you can't really expect uh, too much, can you? But Black Scimitar, that is uh, double the chance of uh, getting unique there. Nothing again. And lastly, eh, pretty stinky. Hey, and another easy 50 points for uh, crafting an Emerald Ring that I need for this easy clue. And uh, once again, a very unfortunate sight. Every single one of the first steps of these easy clues was in either Falador or Algorid. Wait, what the hell? I actually had no idea that you got Zaya steps for uh, easy clue scrolls. But unfortunately, from the 10 easy scroll boxes that we had, we only managed to complete a single casket. And I mean, we didn't actually, um, unless the study, no, the study body doesn't count as unique, does it? But we did get 10 points for uh, completing an easy clue, but nothing too great. So again, just like with the hard clues, I think I might leave every single tier of clue besides beginner until we unlock our third region. But I'm still not quite satisfied with the amount of clues that I've opened today. So what I'm going to do now is kill some moss giants for some more beginner clues, as at the same time I'll have the added benefit of getting mossy keys so I can kill the moss giant boss Briar fighter, which also gives a guaranteed beginner clue, counts as a medium task, and can also drop the Briar fighter's essence, which is also a master clue requirement, so that's like five birds with one stone there. So I've had to move to the third moss giant location now, because every single world is so crowded, but there is level 80 attack. What the hell, like one second after that last clip and there is some 1 in 4k rune javelins. Oh my god, yes, there it is finally. Close to 300 moss giants slain and there is the mossy key we're after. So I actually think this might be the first imp random that I've had on Trailblazer. So let's see how much Herblore XP this gives. Jesus Christ, 7.3k up to level 43 now. And there it is, first Briar Fighter kill. And we get ourselves another mossy key, I will take that. But that is a free 50 points as well. And straight away back for kill at number two, and two Runite Bars, not really that useful, but I will take the beginner clue. Eee, I didn't even realise, but that is looking pretty clean now, exactly 5,000 League Points. So we're back again in the same spot for all of the 13 caskets that we got from the Moss Giants, so let's see if we can add anything to that Rune Sim ornament kit. And uh, yeah, nothing so far. I mean, really, I can't ever complain. I mean, I will complain about those, though, cabbages. As I did say in the last video, that could have been a unique. Whenever you roll cabbages, it's a 50% chance to be a unique. But there we go, some Monk's Robe Bottoms tea. And actually, I will take those, as that is now my best in slot um, prayer bottoms. Um, so I will take that, because I don't actually have regular Monk's Robes yet. Oh my god, yes, the shoulder parrot. That is... Oh, I mean, we do have the RD Cloak, but that is some very decent fashion scape. And actually, I'm going to make sure that I do get in the bank. Jeez, we're looking like an absolute unit in this gear. So that is now three uniques ticked off. So I think there is a task to get um, five different uniques. Well, there we go. One more, and we will get that task. That's some bare feet. Um, next up, nothing there. Steel Axe. And lastly, some more cabbages. Okay, guys. So I just checked the high scores, and it turns out from all the beginner clues that we've opened today, it's now put us at rank 21 on the front page for beginner clues completed which is a pretty cool achievement, I guess. So I think what I'm going to do for the remainder of the episode is open as many beginner clues as I can and see what rank I can get to by the end of the day. So after a good few hours worth of grinding over at the Lumbridge Goblins, we have managed to obtain ourselves 45 more beginner clue caskets, which should pass rank 1 for beginner clues in Trailblazer. And as I said, we do only need one more unique from all of these for another medium task, so I'm hoping that we do get at least one. But for once, I'm not going to waffle through all of these caskets and let you guys enjoy the clue opening instead. Oh, what? What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> Two of the same item. I mean, that should have given us a medium touch. And I'm pretty sure it's five different unique. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. I guess we had to close it. But, <laughs> okay, two of the same item. Really wasn't expecting that one. But anyway, let's crack on with the opening. And there we go. Another Monk's Robe tea bottom. Hey, and a sandwich lady hat as well. Oh, 
Oh, and an amulet of defense T. Now, I think that is also another task to equip this. A uh, trimmed amulet there is. There we go. And another 50 points to the collection. What the hell? Oh, there's another task out of the way as well. Another Jesticate, the third one, but also another medium task. Oh, yes, that is exactly what I was looking for. Now, this is the fashion scape that I need. Get out of it, bare feet. The mole slip is all you need, boys. And there we go. Last one takes up to 73 beginner clue caskets in total for some fire runes. So now if I go ahead and refresh the high scores, we should be rank 1 for beginner clues. And there we go. Not much of a flex, but you know, it is something. I've never been rank 1 of anything uh, in this game before, so that is pretty cool, I guess. So I think on that note, boys and girls, that is where we're going to end today's episode of Road to Dragons here. And once again, a pretty decent amount of progress made on the leagues. So as always, I really hope you guys did enjoy this one. So if you did and you haven't yet, a big old like on the video is always going to be appreciated around here. But until next time, guys, as always, stay safe and I'll see you very soon.